Welcome to the ABC of the Animal Kingdom. The red panda, also known as the lesser panda, is a small mammal native to the eastern Himalayas and southwestern China. The red panda was described and named in 1825 by Frederick Cuvier, who gave it its current scientific name, Ilurus fulgens. The genus name is adopted from the ancient Greek word, Iluros, meaning cat, and fulgens is Latin for, shining or bright. The modern red panda is the only recognized species of the genus Ilurus. It is traditionally divided into two subspecies, the Himalayan red panda, Ilurus fulgens, and the Chinese red panda, Ilurus styani. The red panda's place on the evolutionary tree has been debated, but modern genetic evidence places it in close affinity with raccoons, weasels, and skunks. It is not closely related to the giant panda which is a bear. Though both possess elongated wrist bones or false thumbs, used for grasping bamboo. The red panda can be found in Nepal, the states of Sikkim, West Bengal, and Arunachal Pradesh in India, Bhutan, southern Tibet, northern Myanmar, and China's Sichuan and Yunnan provinces. The red panda inhabits coniferous forests, as well as tempered broadleaf and mixed forests, favoring steep slopes with dense bamboo cover, close to water sources. The red panda has a relatively small head, though proportionally larger than in similarly sized raccoons, with a reduced snout and triangular ears. Their skull is wide, and its lower jaw is robust. However, because it eats the less fibrous parts of bamboo, such as leaves and stems, it has less developed chewing muscles than the giant panda. Their limbs are nearly equal in length. It has five curved digits on each foot, which end in curved semi-retractile claws that aid in climbing. The pelvis and hind limbs have flexible joints, adaptations for an arboreal quadrupedal lifestyle. While not prehensile, the tail acts as a support and counterbalance when climbing. It has a head body length of 51 to 63.5 cm, 20.1 to 25 inches, with a 28 to 48.5 cm, 11 to 19.1 inches tail. The coat is mainly red or orange-brown with a black belly and legs. The face is mostly white and has red marks that stretch from the eyes to the corners of the mouth. The inner ears are covered in white fur with a red patch in the center. It has moderately long whiskers around the mouth, lower jaw, and chin. Its bushy tail has alternating rings of red and buff. The coloration serves as camouflage in a habitat with red moss and white lichen-covered trees. The Himalayan subspecies has a straighter profile, a lighter-colored forehead, and ochre-tipped hairs on the lower back and rump. The Chinese subspecies has a more curved forehead, steeper muzzle slope, a darker coat with a redder less white face, and more contrast between the tail rings. The Himalayan red panda weighs 3.2 to 9.4 kilograms, 7.1 to 20.7 pounds, while the Chinese red panda weighs 4 to 15 kilograms, 8.8 .8 to 33.1 pounds. The red panda is herbivorous and feeds primarily on bamboo, mainly in the genera Philostichis, Cinerundinaria, Thamnocalamus, and Chimonobambusa. It also feeds on fruits, blossoms, acorns, eggs, birds, and small mammals. The digestive tract of the red panda is typical of a carnivore, being fairly short at only four times its body length with a simple stomach. The red panda, having such a digestive system, is a poor processor of bamboo, which passes through its gut in two to four hours. It hence selects the more nutritious plant matter, such as tender leaves and shoots, and consumes them in large quantities. It eats over 1.5 kilograms, 3 pounds 5 ounces, of fresh leaves, or 4 kilograms, 9 pounds, of fresh shoots in a day, and can digest crude proteins and fats more easily than fibers and lignin in the bamboo leaves. The red panda is difficult to observe in the wild, and most studies on its behavior have taken place in captivity. The red panda appears to be both nocturnal and crepuscular, sleeping in between periods of activity at night. 
It typically rests or sleeps in trees or other elevated spaces, stretched out on a branch with legs dangling when it is hot, and curled up with its tail over the face when it is cold. It is adapted for climbing and, much like a coati, descends to the ground headfirst with the hind feet holding on to the middle of the tree trunk. It moves quickly on the ground by trotting or bounding. Adult pandas are generally solitary and territorial. Individuals mark their home range or territorial boundaries with urine, feces, and secretions from the anal and surrounding glands. Scent marking occurs more on the ground, and males mark more often than females. At least seven different vocalizations have been recorded in the red panda, comprising growls, barks, squeaks, hoots, bleats, grunts, and twitters. These are produced during fights and aggressive chasing, in response to being approached by another individual, after scent marking, and during courtship and mating. During both play fighting and aggressive fighting, individuals arch their backs and tails while slowly moving their heads up and down. They then turn their heads while jaw clapping, move their head side to side and raise a forepaw with an intent to strike. They stand on their hind legs and raise the forelimbs above the head before lunging. Red panda's reproduction occurs as the length of daylight increases following the winter solstice. Mating thus occurs between January and March, with births taking place from May to August. As the breeding season begins, there are increased interactions between males and females. Estrus females are observed to mark more often and more vigorously. Gestation lasts about 158 days. Before giving birth, the female selects a denning site, such as a tree, log or stump hollow, or rock crevice, and builds a nest using material from nearby, such as twigs, sticks, branches, bark bits, leaves, grass, and moss. Litters typically consist of one to four cubs that are born fully furred but blind. They are entirely dependent on their mother for the first three to four months, until they emerge from the nest. Mother and offspring stay together until the next breeding. Cubs reach their adult size at around 12 months, and sexual maturity at around 18 months. The primary threats to the red panda are destruction and fragmentation of habitat caused by multiple circumstances such as increasing human population, deforestation, and disturbances by herders and livestock. Trampling by livestock depresses bamboo growth and clear-cutting decreases the ability of some bamboo species to regenerate. Poaching is also a major threat. In southwestern China, the red panda is hunted for its fur, especially for the highly valued bushy tails from which hats are produced. The red panda population in China has been reported to have decreased by 40% over the last 50 years. The red panda has been listed as endangered on the IUCN Red List, since 2008, because the global population is estimated at 10,000 individuals with a decreasing population trend. If you love dogs and cats as much as we do, stay tuned on Sundays. We will also post new videos about wild animals and insects every Thursday. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell, so you do not miss any of our incredible videos.